While our commentary is family friendly, Until Dawn is a game rated M by the ESRB. Hello everyone and welcome back to more Stephen Amount Play Until Dawn. On the last episode I was in control. I might have made a mistake. <laughs> I I read the guidance totem and I thought that it said that don't do anything. Don't do anything. And instead I think it was you should point the gun at yourself. So here's the bad news. I think maybe both Chris and Ashley are dead. But who can say for certain? Today, Mal is in control, and uh, we're jumping back over to um, uh, Sam and Mike. So we haven't found Jess again. No. She might be dead. But uh, taking control of Sam and Mike and take take, take, it, take it away, Mal. Let's find out what happens. What? Get over. <laughs> yeah, the wiggle. <laughs> You're doing great. Wiggling your way over there. Nice job. Ow. Ow. Ah. Go, 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 go. Hmm. We still haven't figured out where um, that flip lighter came from, right? Yeah. I don't remember figuring out where that... I mean, maybe it explained it and we just don't... We weren't paying close enough attention, but it still seems new oh, to me. Damn, those things were tight. Oh my, thank God you found me. It's okay. It's okay. You're okay? I, I don't understand. How did you get here? How'd you find me? Just a fucking maniac up here on the mountain. Yeah, I noticed. He lives in this, like, web of tunnels. I was down there trying to get out, and then I found this grate, and I saw you. Listen, this guy who you're talking about, he attacked me. He showed me these videos too. And one of them showed Josh being killed. Just ripped apart by this huge fucking saw blade. Jesus Christ, what the fuck is going on around here? There's a door here. It won't open. Can you unlock it from your side? All right. First thing you do is avoid that door. Avoid that door. <sighs> Doesn't this make it, like... I mean, maybe these psychopath people are just bent on, you know, filming things and being weird and creepy anyway. But it just seems unusual. There's a lot of stuff that keeps pointing me into the direction of thinking it's the film director. I don't know. I hope we get some resolution. I hope it's not one of these terrible open-ended things. I want to know. I want to know what happened. She has frostbite. I'm going to go back. No, I'll go, I'll go forward. I haven't truly decided. Okay, now, now I've decided. All right. There we go. And now Mike can get through. And traveling in a pair is the best thing to do. Unless both of you die. Hey. Jeez, you look like hell. Nice to see you too. What are you doing? Well, actually, the towel didn't turn out to be the best outfit for fighting off killer maniacs, you know? Do you mind, Mike? Oh, yeah. uh, right. My bad. Is it gonna give you? I was gonna, I was wondering if it would be like one of those options, like turn around and look. You want a peek? <laughs> okay. All geared up. Let's put this thing to bed. I'm into that. What's that? Is that? Who's Chris? Crying? Push! <gasps> no! No, no, no! Are they both Get alive? Away. Yeah. Oh, Chris. Oh, 
Chris, 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 Chris. What the fuck? You've heard of blanks before. I mean, really? gonna be so mad. Oh god. Because Chris oh picked him to god, die. Matt! God! Oh Jesus! Shit! Oh shit! Sorry, I'm processing a lot right now. <laughs> Emily's alive! <sighs> what the piss, man? But she had X's in her eyes. I thought she was dead. They owe me nothing. Josh is taking over the family business of making movies, and he's doing it with these... Oh, my God. No one was ever in any real danger. Everyone's fine. Josh is a little mad that Chris chose to kill Josh, but Josh didn't actually die. Wee. Oh, my God. Wee. Are you... Can you not do this? What are you doing? I... I it says right stick. Oh, there we go. Are you... You, you probably have to get momentum now. I was trying. Did you get it? Yeah. That was close. Woo. Mm. Man. Whoa. Whoa. No. Shit. 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 Stay alert. Oh my god. No one's Move. no one's dead. Move. Nobody is dead. Move! Or just lay there forever, I mean, you do you. Move faster. Just stand, stare and watch it. Yeah, just... Oh, now you're screwed, you broke a kneecap. If you would've moved! God, it would've been so easy to move. I'm 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 gone. I'm I don't know everything you can't trust anything anymore. Everyone's alive. Everyone's alive. Everyone's dead. Oh god. I don't know. Here goes 600 bucks. Better be worth it. I look great in that top. All right. Very resilient, Emily. I'm talking. Mm -hmm. Holy piss, man. I what what what? Like that was, I mean, there, there, I, that was the one thing I had not even like really considered. I was just sure Josh was dead. I was just sure Josh was dead. Jump scare, jump scare. But now, now I'm like, this is crazy. Jump scare, jump scare, jump scare. Oh my God! What if Hannah and Beth are alive? Hannah and Beth Surface are alive, elevator. right? Hannah and Beth are alive, and it's all been an elaborate thing to make a, a movie. Or something. To get revenge? Just to even scare them? Yeah, like, yeah. Yeah, although the, the thing that doesn't really work is that these people have been in actual danger. Falling, oh, yeah. falling off a flaming fire tower, like that, you, got, you could die, you know? So that's the, that's the only thing that doesn't really add up. If you were just trying to scare someone, then you would not go to this length. This is actually insane. But that being said, maybe Josh does have ill intentions. Maybe he's defending his sisters, you know? Like, yeah. I don't know, man. Every, I, it's interesting. I still have as many questions as I had before, but now I have a different set of questions. Everything is just like off the table. I don't even know what to, to think. I think I've seen this scene in Half-Life 2. Yeah. This is when you get out of Ravenholm. Uh-huh. There's something up on the left. I see. I would check that out before the... Yeah. A human head! A human face? A human! Ooh. Minor photo. Flip it back. Uh, on reverse, the blasting crew preparing to dynamite the new shafts. Ain't no party like a shaft blowing party. Oh god. <laughs> and this is why I always urge everyone to, you know, just 
take the thought that you're thinking, just give it a give it a reread, <laughs> and then make sure it works on that reread before <laughs> it comes out of your mouth hole. Shall I? <laughs> Speaking of mouth hole, no, keep going. Wee, chase it. There she goes. There she goes again. That seems like the appropriate song yeah. for that moment. Oh, the elevator that fell, isn't it? Oh, the one that almost killed me! Great! Well, I meant, uh... Earlier in the game, we were walking around with a flip player and couldn't light candles. And yeah. now, that is finally implemented. They must have had... They, they were a year into production before they were like, Wait, maybe we should make it where they can do that. It's weird, man, because now there's there's a big part of me that is like, maybe this is all a big production to scare everyone. But then the other thing, the other thing that I'm considering is like, if that's true, if that's if that's true, there's too many scenarios that where people have been like, they're actually going to kill someone. Still alive, though. Still alive. In like a pile of feces or something. Or the gasoline? Gasoline? What do you mean gasoline? Oh, come on. You've seen worse than skulls. Yeah, it's gross, but you're not going to die. They're not dangerous. Come on, you're just you're just gonna have to have to do your best here. Take a deep breath, get a hold of yourself, and walk down a very long, scary hallway that's filled with skulls and to Grit Jones pleasure, rib cages. Okay, you got one way to go. Once again, if only you had a crowbar. That those boards disintegrated. It was wild. Um. See, I decided to go where I went to so go you, check out the glimmer when yeah. I. Weird. It's minor really helmet. Weird. Hmm. Rib cages and then immediately hard hats. Just saying. There's quite a few things over here worth checking out. What is it? A ladder. It's showing that there is a ladder and it broke. Yeah, I guess you're going that way. See if you can... Oh. <laughs> Those sounds... Just be ready for a quick time, probably. Yep. <laughs> Leaping. <laughs> now it's focused. I got this. Doing great, Mel. Thanks. Oh, that was the wrong one. No! Got that PlayStation controller? Yeah. Layout. Good. Okay. See, I'm trying to, like, limit my talking. Uh-huh. So I don't mess you up. Okay. So you're finally on the ladder. A uh, fall at this point will probably kill you, so be careful. Yeah, the the sounds that they play, it sounds like one of those Halloween CDs where it just has this creepy sound effects so you play With in the, the loop. water phone. Yeah, like it just doesn't even sound like a like, it's not someone actually... Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's not... No one's in danger. We know where everyone else is. Pro I, maybe. Probably. Also, where's Matt? I forget where Matt is. Um... I don't remember. He's also in the mines, but somewhere else? Yeah, that's right. Because Emily fell, and he was like, Well, that sucks. But at this point, we've been... You know, we're checking in with everyone, which is wild. Yeah. Hmm... Man, revealing Josh is just such a big thing. 
It also makes me wonder that if we would have chosen to kill... Yeah. The other person? Ashley. Yeah. Um, also, because that gun had blanks, it wouldn't have mattered Come who you shot. on, for fuck's sake. Figures. Son of a bitch. Yeah, the gun had blanks, so it, if we, we could have shot anyone and it would have been okay. Um... But that's the thing. That's the thing that keeps messing with me is that this can't be a big prank because p these guys have been actual danger. So there's got to be some other level of something happening. I hope that for anyone who chose to watch this and was like, I don't really do horror games and I'm kind of scared, but I'm going to watch it anyway. Do you anyone. remember we had the totem with the fire and it looked like it was her? No, but you can press R1 and find out. R1. <laughs> I did think about it. I said R1, and it was like four <laughs> seconds, and you were like, God, which direction is R? And All right, yeah, the... I'm looking for, yeah, totems. Okay, it so... Was, a, was it a death one? Yeah, was it this one? I don't know. Cheers, no, you can play them all. That was, that was no. Matt dying. Um, fortunately, that didn't happen. This one? Nope. That was the this first one? death totem. No. Nope. That was Mike and Fire. No. Which, that was that was when Chris found the Was it a thing. guidance one? Maybe, yeah. Or a loss. Maybe a loss. Try a loss. See, isn't that her? That's Emily. Play it again. And it's fire, right? And it looks like the mine in the background with, like, wood. Yes. So... So my thought is... Because this be keeps... Be careful. Yeah. Be careful around fire in the mines if you are Emily. See, there's this over there. Oh, it's the torch. I thought it was going to be, like, a... Okay, just, yeah, but no, be on your guard, because, and don't make any decisions that would involve putting yourself in the danger of fire, because it'll, it's going to kill you. Oh, this is where I fell. From the ladder? Mmm. Okay. Well, hopefully you learn a thing now. Power on! Oh my god, finally something works! Cool, 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 cool. Now what? I don't know. Let's go this way. Okay. We're wandering down. Hopefully everything's fine. Yeah, so, like, Josh didn't want to kill anyone, but he's obviously in on this thing. Sorry if I'm, like... Oh, there's stairs trying here. ...trying to figure out what the heck is going on, but I'm just... I'm, I'm, yeah, I, I act, I'm actually really intrigued by the, the game. And what I was saying is, if, if any of you chose to watch this game, you're not normally into horror stuff, but you're like, well, you know, Steven will lighten it up and I'll be able to handle it. I'm glad that you chose to because there's an there's a very intriguing story going on behind all of the booze. Um, there is. There's a lot of weird stuff. Ooh, a new totem. Is that Our a red one or brown one? Danger. Danger. Brick wall. Who was that? That was in a prison or something. Great. Sanatorium or something. Who was that though? I don't know. Should you double check it? Just real quick, since you're already you're on the totems, it was da it was danger. So is it this one? Yeah. Brick wall. I it kind of looked. It kind of looked like Matt. I thought it was his jacket. Maybe. I don't know. It's Matt or Mike or. It's a maybe, guy. Maybe Chris. Yeah, it's a guy. Sure. But either way, be careful, because there's danger lurking. That's what the takeaway here is. What is that? I don't <gasps> really wet rocks, but wet with blood. There's something. Looking good. Everything's fine. Big cavern opening up, though. Suddenly, run! <laughs> you can't get out of that. There's no way you can climb that. That is hurt knee. that, that yeah. is solid ice. Your fingertips will freeze. Yeah. Well, I guess I've come up with a new plan. But there is a shining light down there, which could be something useful. Are those Hannah's? Yeah, Hannah. That's wild. That is really Shiny wild. Shiny thing. Shiny. It's that way. 
Where? It, it, no, no, no. Walk the way you were going. Keep walking. It's right there. Oh. Dun 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 dun! It's a bunch of nothing! Marks That's on exactly rock. exactly a year ago. Days counted oh, down? What does this mean? Have they been alive? Or they were alive? Or, oh, there's not, There's only, what, eight days there? Yeah. So maybe they marked the date that they... They, like, they, they survived and they went in there. They marked the day that they got in, and then how many days they lasted. So they lasted eight days, and then they died of starvation or something. Was there anything this way? I don't think so. I think you're intended to go in that... Down this tunnel? That tunnel down there. <sighs> no one. No. It's not doing much. Oh, she works a little faster. Yeah, it's because it's the walk faster button. So that makes sense. Is there something that way, you think? Oh, uh, yeah, there's something right here. Jump scare. I mean, you basically every everywhere can be a thing. <laughs> Beth is definitely dead. So we're learning a lot more. They didn't die on the rocks. They were hurt, but they must have tried to crawl somewhere and survive. Hannah lived longer than Beth, long enough to bury her or something. Or make her a cross. Although, we don't actually know that it's them. It could have been someone else that knew them that did it, too. It's not guaranteed that it's Hannah. That said, it makes a lot of sense. So I'm going to go on that assumption for now. We're gonna, I'm going to assume that that's what happened. It looks like there was a pink thing in light. That's not creepy at all. It's your good friend. <laughs> Is that Hannah? Beth's head. Okay, so they couldn't probably bury Beth. No, 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 no. I'm now willing to confirm for sure that Beth is dead. Hannah, however, do we know? We don't we know. We don't know. We, we found the glasses. Know. And you know what? With this information, we could we could deduce something. How about Beth died. Hannah managed to get out. She's furious. She contacts Josh, and they agree to work together to take, like, either kill or scare the bejesus out of all their friends for doing this. Oh, I'm back here. Out of anger for for Beth's death. Now, let me go a little step further into the conspiracy theorists here. That's not actually Beth. She's not actually dead. It was a dummy. I don't actually think that, but an idea. Yeah. Most likely, I'm going to guess that it was actually Beth. They both managed to survive the fall, crawled into this place, and in doing so, Beth died. They lived eight days under here. Hannah survives, right? Either she no. becomes a ghost or something and she's haunting them, or she survived, contacted Josh, and they're getting back at everyone. And Josh would have experience. That's the arsonist. That looks like Josh. Don't move. Don't move. Do not move. Good job. Get ready for possible quick time events. Yeah. Possible quick time events happening. Maybe he's trying to help. Uh, let's assume not. <laughs> No screw-ups now. You've been doing good. He's behind you. He's Possibly. behind you. Oh, wait, 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 wait! Fire's bad now! <laughs> oh, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, God. I'm away from the fire, though. Uh, what if the entire shaft goes up? And I'm on a dead end now? Oh, God. Don't, don't. Uh, don't turn back, I guess. Hi, hi, I don't know. They're both bad options. They could both kill you with the fire. I don't know, man. This is not looking good.
Josh. <laughs> there was no good answer. No. By the time that you were on the cursor, that was when I was like, fire bad, fire bad, fire bad, <laughs> fire bad. But then it was too late. Yeah. But then after that, when it was like, you want to turn back or hide? I'm like, hide near fire, turn back towards fire. They're both bad options. I'm not sure I'm, I'm willing to trust these totems. <laughs> I've been putting a lot of effort and trust into these totems. I'm not sure these totems are, are, are giving it to us straight. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Next episode, I'm in control. What's going to happen? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But I do know that it's exciting because it's starting with them being like, Josh, what the heck, dude? <laughs> yeah. And that's going to be an interesting video. Thank you for watching, and uh, we'll see you guys next time for more Stephen and Mao play Until Dawn.